Yo, what's good with y'all? Let me delete this real quick. Anyway, yo, what's good with y'all? Today's video, I have an updated version of how to make a Tycoon door. In fact, this uh, this tutorial actually is uh, over a year ago, actually. Released December 19th. Yeah, the script was a little eh. So I'm glad someone said something in the comments. Most trick, shout out to you. Uh, they asked for the, uh, what's it called? They asked for it and stuff like that. So, yeah, shout out to them and stuff for the video. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, let's get straight into it. Pretty much, this updated one is going to include the same stuff as before, but there was a line of script that I didn't even need, so we remove remove the line as well as this is making it so pretty much your tycoon door. Um, it can only like I'm gonna use a method of like teams because every tycoon has like team or majority of tycoon games has teams and stuff like that. So pretty much the only people who can claim doors are people who are on the neutral team, right? So let's make some teams real quick. Let's, let's we'll make like three, right? I'll do control D twice to duplicate, right? Let's call this let's call this alpha beta and neutral, right? Or unclaimed. Yeah, like unclaimed. Like they're like they haven't claimed anything, right? So, you know, of course that'll be auto assignable. Um these two, however, won't be, right? I'll make that blue make this red and turn off auto assignable if you don't know what auto assignable means that means the person automatically is assigned to the team upon joining the game right so yeah we have our team set up right so then we need our sign so let's make a i'm not going to design the whole thing like i did last time you know, i well i could but uh, you know what actually i'll do it yeah so let's make us let's take let's make a cylinder right so we're gonna move it up we are going to rotate it and then we are going to scale it uh, like right there. Make it here. We are gonna scale this as well, like about right there. Boom, you know, make it like a door. And boom, you guys know how it is. Type shit, like really like tycoon games. All right, like there, that looks nice. That looks nice. You know, looks pretty good, especially considering I am not a builder. Then we can um we can go ahead. We'll move this over a little more, right? We will group all these parts, right? We'll call this tycoon sign, right? This will be the head. We will insert a humanoid into the tycoon sign. Make sure you name the part where, like, you want the like the uh, name to be and stuff. The text will say. Make sure you name it head, right? So, and then you would change the display name here to whatever you want it to say, or you could change the uh, name of the group. But I'm gonna just go with the display name, right? And say claim claim here, right? Boom, right? So we've changed that. Uh, I guess for naming purposes, we'll name the other parts. So, right, we'll say like, I don't know, right support, left support, and then I will also anchor, make sure all the parts are anchored, of course. Let's anchor the parts. Um, yeah, now comes script time. Let's put this, let's make a server script and put it in the head, right? We'll call this claim script, right? We will say script dot parent dot touch colon connect function in parentheses. We will put hit. We will do if hit dot parent if I'm first child has a humanoid, right? Which pretty much means if it's a character, then if hit then sorry, we will, we need to make a player variable. We're gonna do local player is equal to game dot players if I'm first child hit dot parent dot name then we're going to say if player dot team is equal to game dot teams dot neutral oh sorry wait unclaimed yeah sorry unclaimed put whatever your neutral team whatever the fuck you have there right unclaimed then we are going to switch their team to do player dot team is equal to game dot teams uh well i guess we'll say alpha for this one right then we'll, we'll switch some of the properties. We'll say script dot parent dot transparency is equal to zero point five. Script dot parent dot can collide is equal to false. Script dot parent dot parent dot humanoid dot display name is equal to uh. We could say hit. Now we'll do player dot name. Player dot names. The names tycoon, right? Yeah, there we go. Right, so this will pretty much work. Right, so 
pretty much if I c I can also duplicate this right to prove it too. I mean, that's not really a point, but I'll just show you guys just to demonstrate right. If I click play, not only will, will we be able to claim the tycoon sign, we successfully we successfully made a tycoon sign. Well, we've also made it so you can only claim one. Boom! I've claimed the spider 19 times. Fuck! I've claimed the spider 19's tycoon right or the alpha tycoon actually right and stuff. But if I go here, it won't let me claim it because I've already claimed one. Now the reason it knows that is because we run an if statement to see if a player is on the unclaimed team. Since it switches my team, this method is work like will always work and stuff. As long as you as long as you're setting a person's team when they claim a tycoon, this method will work. And yeah. So yeah, pretty simple. Uh hope this updated video was better for a lot of people and stuff. And most tricks I hope it was helpful for you. Yeah. I'll see you guys. Thank you guys for watching and appreciate y'all.